team, I'm Ms. Anderson, and today I am joined by Maya and Indy and Atticus and Meredith somewhere down there too. And today I would like to share with all of you Ordinary Mary's Extraordinary Deed. Ordinary Mary was so very ordinary that you'd never guess that she could change the world. This ordinary kid, she did. She changed the world. One ordinary day, skipping on her way from her ordinary school to her ordinary house, she passed an ordinary vacant lot filled with ordinary bushes, growing ordinary berries, Ordinary, blue, and juicy, luscious, lovely berries. Well, Ordinary Mary picked the ordinary berries and brought them in a big brown bowl to Mrs. Bishop's porch. What? Left berries in a big brown bowl on Mrs. Bishop's porch? That sneaky kid, she did. This made Mrs. Bishop very, very happy. So she baked a big batch of blueberry muffins and thought of five people who might have brought those beautiful berries, then secretly gave each a plate. How great! Five people got a plate. One of those five was her paper boy, Billy Parker. And when Billy saw his name on a note in the driveway on a plate, he quickly parked his bike and ate every crumb. Oh, yum, 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 he ate every crumb. This made him so glad that the next five people got their, their papers on the porch and not in the bushes where he often threw them. In fact, they were handed right to them. One of those five was Mr. Stevens, who was so amazed that he smiled for 10 hours on the airplane, then said to five different people who had heavy bags, here, let me help you. He still smiled, and they did too. One of those five was Maria, whose cranky little boy James stopped crying when Mr. Stevens played peekaboo with him until their ride came. When he waved goodbye, Maria exclaimed, How strange that a stranger would be so sweet! And the next day, when she was out shopping once, twice, five times, she did something nice for five different people five times without stopping. One of those five was Joseph, old and bent, and gray in front of her in line at the produce stand. When he said, I guess I counted wrong. I don't really need these oranges. Little James reached out to him with an orange from their basket, and Maria put a coin in Joseph's hand and said, here, take this. The oranges are on us. As Joseph shuffled to the bus, his heart was full and his eyes were wet and his hands did helpful things for the next five people he met. One of those five was Sarah, a college girl who was off to see the world and stopped at Joseph's shop. When her bag broke and her things fell all over the floor, she said, oh, what will I do? Joseph said, this is for you, and he gave her a new bag woven with his own hands in red and purple and green. Oh, thank you, she said. It's the loveliest bag I've ever seen. When Sarah left, she felt sunny as noon, and she just had to shine on five people soon. One of those five was Sophia, whom she met on a boat looking like the world might end, looking like someone without a friend. What beautiful blue eyes you have, Sarah said, and they're just the color of the flowers in your lovely dress. Yes, said Sophie. Oh, yes, said Sarah. The beautiful blue eyes shed a happy tear, and when the boat trip was through, Sophie called five people to make them happy too. One of those five was Tom, her son, the doctor, who was having a very hard day. Hi, she said. I love you, Tom. Well, how great to hear your voice, he sighed. I always need my mom. Dr. Tom was so cheered up that on his next break, he bought a big bunch of bright balloons for five young patients 
and he handed them out right then and there. One of those five was Peter, a little boy who went home from the hospital that very day. Gratitude for the big bunch of bright balloons filled him and thrilled him and spilled out of him and onto the next five people that, who came his way. One of those five was Eric, a teenage boy whose sacks and such were way too much. When one dropped on the sidewalk, Peter stopped his play and rushed right over saying, Super Wheels to the rescue! Well, Eric, no longer stressed, was very impressed and made a mental note that very afternoon to help five people and do it soon. One of those five was Di, his 10-year-old sister who didn't have many friends and was painfully shy. When Eric said, hey sis, want to come to the park and learn how to ride my skateboard? She looked at him wide-eyed. Serious? She cried. Sure, he said. And because of her brother, Di decided maybe she could be a friend to another five others. One of those five was Louise, a homeless woman who lived under the trees. She could hardly believe her ears when she heard Di say, May my brother and I buy you a hot dog and a drink at the stand over there? Could it be true? Someone actually cared? Cared enough to give her food and a smiley faced ring that was particularly new? Louise was so pleased that she decided that even though she had nothing, she would find five others and give them something. One of those five was Mr. Taylor who lost his wallet in the park. Louise found it full of fives and tens and twenties. Oh, what she could do with all that money. But she found his name and called his home and over he came. He was so impressed that she was honest in spite of being poor that he offered her a job in his store and vowed to do something generous for five people or more. One of those five was Kate, a woman on vacation who wanted to see a show she'd heard was a sensation. Oh no, she said, it's sold out, but I'm going home tomorrow and her face filled with sorrow. Mr. Taylor held out his ticket. I live here, he said. I can go any time. Take mine. Kate loved the show and was so touched that she thought buying five presents for five people back home would really be fun. And one of those five presents was a little heart necklace for Mary, her niece, and you should have seen her eyes light up in surprise. Mary? What? Ordinary Mary? Yes, Ordinary Mary's extraordinary deed had come full circle and on its way it had changed the lives of every person living. You see, when Mrs. Bishop made muffins from Mary's blueberries, not only the paper boy, Billy Parker, but the other four people too, made five people smile, and those five did too. And after a while, in only 15 days, love was sent to every person, everywhere. Just see how it went. Well, six billion is even more than all of the people on the planet. So after everyone had a share and everyone knew that somebody cared, there was even love left over. The world was changed and thousands and millions and billions agreed. It was all because one ordinary day, ordinary Mary did a perfectly ordinary, stunningly, earth-shaking, totally extraordinary deed. Each of us are acting just like ordinary Mary right now. We are thinking about others before ourselves. We are practicing physical distancing. We are making sure that we're washing our hands and that we are taking care of ourselves. We're taking care of our bodies, 
we're taking care of our minds, and we're making sure that we stay connected with each other. Right now, it is important for us to be just like ordinary Mary in our story today. Taking care of the entire world through small acts right now. Please know that while we are not physically there in a building right now, we are there for each other. And one way that we can stay connected is through these read-alouds. Thank you for listening to today's read-aloud and look for more read-alouds coming your way every day.